hey this is freckles welcome back to another day of painting with me um, as usual i'll do an oil painting tutorial this time i will do a few slower pieces in the video where you can see how i mix the paints and then there will also be some time lapses in between but as always if you want to paint with me and paint the exact same portrait i'm doing you can click the link in the description box below and you can find the exact sketch that i'm using it's one of my own sketches um, so what you do is you print it out and you can either trace it using a tracing pad or you can print it directly onto um, oil painting paper and you'll also find all the colors that i'm using to paint in the description box and um, if you don't have the exact colors it's fine you can always mix and mix and match a little bit but at least you have your base colors to to start working from but yeah that's it i uh, hope you enjoy it and remember to subscribe and please 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 leave me a comment below The first thing I do after I've traced the drawing onto the paper is that I tape the piece of paper down because if I don't do this it's gonna, um, as soon as the paper gets wet it's gonna curl up and we don't want that to happen. So you can use regular masking tape or that green frog tape is really really good or you can use like arts and crafts tape if you don't have any other. After I've taped down the paper, I'm going to use my acrylic primer and I'll just pour that on and then use a dry paintbrush to spread it out before I start to set up my oil painting palette. As you can see, I've set up my palette with six different colours. I'm using alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, burnt umber, cadmium yellow medium, burnt sienna and titanium white. And, um, if you want to get these exact colors, they're linked below. And if not, you can use something similar that you've got. And you can even mix your brown colors if you prefer that. But I bought them because they're my favorite two colors of brown to use for painting deeper complexions. So this is the consistency of oil paint coming straight out the tube. And then to get it a little bit more fluid, I put a couple of drops of stand oil on which is a form of really, really thick boiled linseed oil. And it just makes your paint flow a little bit more easily and it gives the painting a really nice glossy finish. So I keep adding that to the paints once in a while to just keep them nice and moist. And um, yeah, you'll see that the painting is slightly glossier than without it. And you'll see in this little clip that this is the actual speed that I'm painting at. So it does take a lot longer than what this um, video makes it seem like. I think I spent maybe four hours in total on this portrait. So don't feel bad if you're not done within half an hour. And remember that it's practice. It's just practice.
So to start painting the sun in the background, I mix cadmium yellow medium with some titanium white and I make this pale yellowy tone and I start covering in the background. And you can see that I prefer to use a square flat brush and that's just personal preference. You can use whatever you feel comfortable with. And I think I got a 20 pack of these brushes for like a fiver um, on Amazon. So they're very reasonably priced. and. I'm just now mixing, mixing a peachy tone for the background and then I'm incorporating a bit more orange, um, orange, red and yellow in parts. I have no real system when doing this. I kind of just paint as closely to the reference photo as I can be bothered to do. <laughs> it doesn't have to be an exact copy. You can improvise if you like. So I painted in the rest of the flowers and now I'm ripping the masking tape off. Just remember to let the painting dry for a few hours to a day before you take off the masking tape. If not, it's going to be messy. And yeah, that's my finished piece. I hope you like it and please do subscribe and leave me a comment with um, any suggestions that you have. Bye! No one was hurt. And David, it hasn't rained here in the San Bernardino Mountains for well over a day now, but... Oh, and if you enjoyed this tutorial, please click the subscribe button and leave me a comment on what sort of complexions you'd like to see me paint next time. Bye!